that if you have got a system of two masses, let us say M1 and M2, and along the line joining the two masses, is there a chance that the net value of gravitational field intensity comes out to be equal to zero? Now, if you think about it, the point can be anywhere, right? It can be in this zone or in this zone, like how we used to do. So let us say this is zone number one, zone number two, and zone number three. Think about it where it can be zero, first of all. So if you think of zone number one, if you place a test mass over here, that's how you find the value of the gravitational field intensity, right? So if you want to find out that, then you know that because of this M1, there will be an attractive force in this direction, which means the direction of the field will also be in this direction, correct? Because of the first mass. And because of the second mass also, it will be in the same direction. So there is no chance that they will be cancelling off each other, okay? If you think about zone 2, M1 will be attracting, thus the direction of the field will be in this direction, that is E1. And M2, the direction of the field will be in this direction, E2, which means in zone 2, there is a possibility. And if you come to zone 3, if you think about it, because of M2, there will be the direction of the field towards the mass, which is in this direction, and because of M1 also in the same direction. So no chance that the net value of the, the gravitational field intensity can be equal to zero. That's not possible. Which means it's only in zone 2, correct? And again, we are going to use the same trick, same formula. We know how to, uh, you know, write the intensity of gravitational field at a point. And then probably we'll just equate it. Because at this point, if you're saying that this is the point where we can call this as neutral point, which means the net value of gravitational field intensity is equal to zero, then we can easily write down the formula and equate E1 is equal to E2 or E1G is equal to E2G. So that's what we'll be doing. If you consider any point, it can be anywhere in zone 1, 2 or 3. Think about the direction of the force and the field now. So if you think about this, then definitely the direction of the field or the field intensity might be different, but the direction of this field, the direction of the gravitational field is going to be in the same direction. So no chance. If you come to this zone, which I was calling it as zone number three, you know, here also, you don't stand a chance where it can be equal to zero, which means it will be somewhere in between. Okay. Now, all we have to do is we can write the net field. The net field should be equal to zero. If this is the point, which is a neutral point, which I'm saying is at a distance of X from the first one, for, from the first mass, that is from mass M1. Then what I can write is that the net value eg must be equal to zero net at which point at point p at point p the net value of the gravitational field intensity must be equal to zero okay let's define the direction so in this direction we will be taking it as positive this direction we will take it as negative no problem okay now we know this is going to be net vector sum that is eg1 vector plus eg2 vector okay all right. Now, eg1 vector is in negative direction. So what we can write at this point at a distance of x from this mass m1, the value of the gravitational field intensity because of the first mass is going to be equal to minus g m1 upon x square. Why minus? Because we know that the direction of the fo uh, force is also in this direction and the direction of the field is also in this direction. We have chosen our positive direction in this obviously and eg2 will be positive of course and if we write it down we can write g m2 divided by what is this distance l minus x right so l minus x all right just equate it to zero just equate it to zero and find the value of x do it come on we have done this we have done a similar thing correct so when you do that, you end up getting expression of x over here. That is x is equal to root over of m1 times l divided by root over of m1 plus root over m2. Okay. Now over here, we also have taken a condition that m1 is a mass which is smaller. Okay. So m1 is a smaller mass. So it is slightly closer to this m1. Okay. So this is how you can actually find out 
the value of a gravitational field intensity and the point where you'll get this intensity is equal to zero. When you are talking about two masses or two mass system and you are looking at this point along the line joining the two masses.